The letter from the Directorate of Criminal Investigations says that the investigators are interested in how the contract for the Line 6 project was awarded and later cancelled. According to the DCI, focus will also be on the committee that awarded the contract, its membership, as well as the deliberations that led to the award. In the letter, KPC has been asked to supply contract documents for the projects, tender committee meetings of the contracts to projects, as well as a list of tender committee members present during the cancellation of the project. KPC management has also been asked to provide contract document to China Petroleum Pipeline, the company which won the tender, as well as give reasons why there was a variation of $2 million US dollars in the contract and the tender minutes for the approval of variation to China Petroleum Pipeline. Contacted, the Kenya Pipeline Corporation said that it was aware of the back and forth communication with the DCI, but could not comment on the matter since it is an ongoing investigation. KPC had said that the Sin and Dead Kisumu line would help increase volumes of products moved by additional 360,000 litres per hour. This is not the first time that the Kenya Pipeline Corporation is on the spotlight of a misuse of public funds. Just three months ago, the corporation hit the headlines over 2 billion shillings tender scam. The DCI has now launched investigations into the scandal. Amani National Congress leader Musalia Mudavadi has also jumped into the fray. The common denominator in these reports is interference, involvement, intervention, and control of tender processes by cables of politicians and foreign bidders and their local surrogates, KPC managers, and the board. Mudavadi singled out the construction of the Kisumu oil jetty, the Line 5 project, the 10 pump station valves, valve automation project, and the Sinendet Kisumu pipeline are some of those mad with the regularities. The result, he says, was a loss of billions of shillings. He says the theft of the Kenya pipeline took time and was laid out over a period of years, and that those who were steering the company during the different periods are well known. The running theme is how the culprits manipulated, variation of contract terms, and works to steal from the public. We as ANC therefore demand that these matters must be thoroughly investigated, satisfactory answers given, and culprits jailed. Silas Apollo, NTV.